Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome along to Hartwood Turning in the stable studio. These <sighs> made over to the left. See who we've got in. I've got some people in to help. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the right answer. <laughs> They've been here for the last 15 minutes or so, and I've had nothing but abuse. So it'll continue, I'm sure. So let's have a look and see who we've got today. We've got Mr. William Kenny, all the way from Kenny Hi, Welcome along. We've got uh, Terry from TJ Turning. Hey, just here to give abuse. Welcome, everybody. All the way from the Hope you enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Hope you enjoy yourselves. And we've got the lovely Joe. Good evening, with the, everybody. With the voice of an angel who may or may not be singing. We shall no. see. So excited. <laughs> I wouldn't get too excited. No. Uh. So I'm just uh, I'm taking my time to see that we're not going to rush. Ah, he started already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're not even in yet. So what are we going to do this evening? Uh, it says in the uh, in the old. Uh, let me let me put you guys in the background first. Yeah, press in the background. Go on, get lost. Thank you. I get rid of them. You'll hear them plenty, but you just don't want to be looking at them really. I mean, I mean, me neither, probably. But <laughs> um, we're going to turn the little uh, lidded vessel pot. What? Vessel. Uh, so let's vessel. have a look at the piece of wood. There it is. No, it isn't. Press the button again. Try that. There we go. Nice little piece of wood. This is a piece of cherry, which is quite big for what I'm going to do with it. It's. Uh, just over four inches that way, and it's just over six inches that way. I've already marked the centers on both ends. We've got a bit of cracking at this end. <laughs> surprise, surprise, it's cherry. Um, but it doesn't go down very deep. So what I intend to do is put a, a tenon on this end, mount it in the chuck on that end, and then we'll see where we go. So I'll get that out. We're going to use a Robert Sorby step center on that end, drive center, and a live center on that end. I'll get this mounted, and I think Joe is going to tell us who's in. Yeah, it's good that it's good that it's a bit big that you have to take it down a while. That gives Joe plenty of time to read out the chat. Why? Thank you very much for your support. Anytime, Joe. <laughs> Terry. Anyway, <laughs> good evening, everybody, and welcome. So, at the top of my chat. We've got door 60. He was Michelle first in. Usby, Michelle Usby, Andy, the Valley Wood Turner Bundy Row. We've got William Kenny. And we've also got Terry. That's it. That should be a lot out of there. Is that, so is that everybody's in? Oh, dear. No, out of way. Out of the way. I mean, out of way. <laughs> out of way. Here, is what I meant. We've got the Oh, that's a pure turn, mate. Lucy, the silver shaver saver, Bundy Row. <laughs> the silver Larry shaver Nixon. saver? Yeah. <laughs> We've got now, Larry that, Nixon. That, that conjures a whole lot of thoughts in my head. It does. It does mine as well. Clint Wood Dancers. We've got Malcolm Douglas, Dave B. Misk, Paul Finley Wood Turning at Home, Susie Swiss Wood Turner, Terry Bartlett. Step off to one side, We've got Liz. We have Callum speed. Turn. Turn speed up. Wood turning with Barry. We've got Wayne the Wood Turner. It's a bit like bingo, this, isn't it? We've got Doug Miller at Woodspun Round. House. Rob House. House. This is like bingo. House, yes. We've got a line. Robert Broadwood. Oh, how to the to Turner. Keep on going. Keep on going. Don and Love Angel Artist. We have Barry Chitty. We've got Simon from Field Coast Woodland. We have Roger Kent, Tony Smith. Todd at Glencove Woodworks. Nick Castle. Going, going, going. And I've got to the bottom at the moment. You've got 48 people watching. Oh, yeah. thank you very well much. Done. Welcome along. 
wasn't that fast. Just move that to the rest a little well, bit. no. Come on, put it where credit's due. Rob Copperell has just joined us. Ah, he didn't have to put up with that, did he? Come in late. Hi, Rob. Good evening, Rob. Good evening, Rob. <laughs> I think they're getting that now. That some of the people are getting wise. They're thinking that Joe's reading it out. We'll just let her do that lot first and we'll come in later. Well, isn't that just fun dabby dozy? Alan Gibb is in. Hello, Alan. Hi, Alan. Good evening, Alan. And Roy's the boy. I'm the royest of the Roy. boys. All right. That's a real nice piece of jelly. It's cutting really well. That look that looks, looks really nice what was piece. coming off. So. Is it really dry or mm, Yeah, you can feel a little bit of dampness on it. Well maybe that's just a cold, I don't know. It's it's not it's not soaking wet. It's probably it's pretty dry. well dry, I think. Probably about fifteen or twenty percent, I would think. My business. What you be able to tell you it says timber. Uh, it was a little wet when I gave it to you, but you have it a while, you know, and it was... I have a, I have a day or two, yeah. <laughs> I've, got, I've got cherry sha shavings all over more. To, oh, it's in my tea. <laughs> That's That's right. Right. I've got cherry flavoured tea now. I'll do. Won't do any harm, will it? We've got Andy you put in the cake, you have a cherry bake well. And we've got Shane Hurst. Good evening, a gentlemen. A cherry bake well. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Shane. Good, good evening, Andrew and Shane. Um, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, beating and parting tool. What are you saying that? Oh, uh... beating and parting tool. And I want to take this down to a tannin for a for my Robert Sorby chuck. And I've dispensed with my safety dispensed with the safety hood, uh, and I'm going to use my safety goggles for the rest of the. Are you? Okay. So How are the horses? Roger Kemp wants to know how the horses are. Just to screw that up a little bit. No, it's not. And then we'll make a, a mortis, or a tannin, sorry. Mortis? For my rubber sorbet chuck, which is 48 mil. We'll just set that up. Earth calling Brian. Terry? <laughs> Roger Kent wants to know how the horses are. Oh, horses are good. Uh, the, one the, that was a, one? the one that was a bit poorly, a bit lame, mm -hmm. is, is a whole lot less lame. We haven't done anything to him, but he's a whole lot less lame. Problem is, I can't see the chat now. So there we go. All right. There we Can go. Can you just answer one question? Because when you did your live, I couldn't work out whether you said Willie. Welly. Or, or Welly. Welly, oh. as in Wellington. Got you. He's called, his, his actual name, his, his full title is Dunrath Wellington. <laughs> Dunrath. Oh. Dunrath would Price. be the stud that he was born at. Mm. And wow. Wellington is his name. Right. Brian Stapley has joined us from Midas Woodcraft. Oh, Brian. oh that's new names, isn't it? Oh, Brian. That's a new name, Welcome I along. Think. Hi, Brian. Hmm. Welcome aboard. Midas Woodcraft. Yeah. Cool. Let's have a quick look and see, what this is like. see how close I am here. Welcome to the Madhouse. Not with an yeah. abadger's gowl of it, he says. Sorry, you can't really see this, but no matter. It's all right, we can imagine. I can't show you it. No, don't. No, I'll go enough? back to say. You'll have to move the camera then. Another hour, trying to get it back right. I'll go back to saying that Roy, the boy, said that he finished his lidded pot today. Well done, Roy. Oh, good man, Roy. Nice one. Good man. Good one, Roy. And um, Rob from Copper Owl says, this doesn't look like it will be a bowl. No. Interesting. Doesn't look like it will be what? A bowl. A bowl. A bowl. It's not going to be a bowl. No, no bowl tonight. No. <laughs> we have a vessel. Just, it's just for a, a change. It's a vessel. It's kind of vessel. like a lidded vessel. So now I need to do a little bit of my Pot because with a lid on you're it. You're not going to believe this, guys. <laughs> I've actually done a drawing. <laughs> oh, You didn't do that. Michelle did that. No, I did that. But you did that. Oh, I definitely did that. Tell the truth, Brian. Oh, Roy's saying it's made for you. you. Are we in? Are we in? So even are we? So I'm going to leave a little bit of honey. How much do I need? It's crackers in here. Uh, Absolutely crackers. So it's actually done uh, to scale as well. Can you believe that? Oh, bloody. Oh, right. Now, Rob was saying it was just his way of asking, what are you turning tonight? Well, you did answer that, didn't you, sir? Yeah. 15. 
Got my roof tubes in. Good evening, roof. It's all from there. Want to go up a little bit? One one five. What's she doing there. the work? Well, turning with Barry said he yeah. finished his little box video, and it's up on yeah. Saturday. We'll be looking for that then, Barry. Brian, Brian Eltonero de Madeira is in. I'll have to write on this. No, cut line. Line. <laughs> Stick to just, it, too. That's just for Pete. <laughs> I will cut it, but I'll just take it down a wee bit. Because yeah. I need to get it way down the bottom there. And this is the top end. Anyway, how are you yeah. doing, Barry? And the widest you, part. You could put on that top line, cut line. I could, but I'm not going <laughs> to. So the widest part has that 90 mil. Evening, Glyneth. Glyneth is in. Glenn. Evening, Glyn. So the widest part's going to be there. You so might I'm be going to mark on my tourist. Mark Beckett's in. Hi, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hi, Mark. Roger Kent wants to know if Mark did show you how to make the drawing. By the look of the drawing, no. No comment. Yeah. So I've just stuck a bit of tape on there so I know where the fattest part of that is. I think that's, I think I've got that wrong actually. Oh no, that's correct. Yeah, that's fine. So I need to get this end down to well before you do any more brian you didn't show said audience the other piece of timber oh this piece yeah i just remembered that's the lid this is going to be the lid it's a piece of ash i think if anybody wants to contradict that that's what it looks like i think it looks like oh, yeah. ash to me yeah, to me too so yeah looks uh, like it this. I'm thinking it could be ash. So across the bottom here, I need 50 mil. So we're going to go from 90 mil here, then to 50 mil there. And then this is going to become the lid or the, the neck for the lid. The neck for the so neck. let's get this down to 90 mil first. See where we're at with that. Mike Ilminster is in. Good evening, Hi, Mike. Mike. Hi, Mike. 90 mil is quite big. Hi, Mike. Doug Middle is thinking it might be, it looks like Holly. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, it's not Holly. No, it's, not it's Holly. definitely not Holly. But I know <laughs> where he's cherry. coming from with that. Cherry on the leaf. Yeah. And <laughs> right, so 90 mil first. Let's get down around 90 mil first. Da -da 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 -da. David Vaughan has just joined us. Good evening, David. So I'm just quite happily going to take Good all those, those mark markings off again. But that doesn't matter. Be better if I went the right way, wouldn't it? It would. But you can always put a part into charge. it into 90 mil just so you know where you're going. I could do that, Terry, but there's quite a bit to go, so I'm just going to take oh, a bit there? off it. Okay. <laughs> Rob says, Is it walnut? And in brackets, ask him for Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Could be if Ben comes in. Oh, I didn't move that too far, though. I think I did, actually. Of course, yeah. When you move your tool rest, you don't know where your mark is. Mm, yeah, I know. Mm. I meant to just slide it straight forward, and I think I, th I moved it a little bit sideways, but I think I know what it is. It's just about there. That's close enough. That'll do. Right, 90 mil. I want 90 mil just about here somewhere. So we're about to go, yeah. So well, let's, just saying... do, let's just do what Terry said. <laughs> She aimed it at Dave, but despite the freezing cold, it was lovely here today. Bright blue sky, sunshine, and white snow covering everything. That sounds idyllic, doesn't it? Sounds nice. Yeah, yeah no. I bet it sounds Black like snow. Christmas Wonderland. It's good. So we're just a little bit beyond, beyond 90 there, but we'll take a bit off of here first. 
The way dude Steven has just joined us. Good evening, Steven. Good evening, Steven. Hey, Steven. Well, it was lovely and sunshine here today. Brilliant, bright sunshine. Was it? Mm. No, we had good, we had late day sunshine too, but boy, was it cold. Beautiful yep. blue sky Very all cold. day. It's a trade off, isn't it? Yep. I just don't like the rain. No, I don't like the rain. Hey, Brian's working on this. It's looked like he's thought about it this time. Mm. Have you been practicing, Brian? Nope. I've got a drawing. I there. just did the drawing. Just said drawing. Yeah. Those shavings just coming off. Beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful wood to cut, isn't it? Yeah, cherry is there. It's like butter. That's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, you can't say better than that for cutting. No. Oh, it's nice shavings. Mm. You'd almost think that was finished with the skew there. So I need to get that down. Let me see where I am with that 90. That should just be about here. That's perfect. And I need to get down to... That's the wrong way, Brian. Close the calipers, not open them. I want 50 mil at the bottom. So 50 mil in a um, right there. Right, ash is the lid. Yes, yeah, the lid. It's the little lid, the little piece of wood. Doug so Miller says it's six, 18 degrees in Kentucky. Right there from that. That's where the uh, W is going to be this year. It is, yeah. So the base is not much bigger than that foot. We'll use the beating and parting tool to be quicker. Just take that off. So if that ten is 48 mil, this one needs to be a little bit less. Or a little bit bigger, should I say. Not less, you muppet. Good to go, yep. And I just had a little catch there because it was a bit careless when I produced that tool. We see that. Oh, come on, then. That'll disappear anyway, so. Oh, well, Grandma at RoofTube is asking, yeah. which designers from the Art Deco era inspires you the most? As this is an Art Deco inspired lidded vase. I've no idea. I just looked it up on that. I just looked at Art Deco up on, on uh, Google. And I've seen some bits of design and I thought, oh, I'll do that. Well, isn't Clary's Cliff? I know that's ceramic. That's Art Deco, isn't it? Yeah. There's two. There's lots of them. I don't know their names. But... We're turning with Barry, says he's on some cherry tomorrow. Good man. Great. Look forward to seeing that. Mm. So I kind of moved my tool rest to where I wanted it to be. Okay, so we've got Stephen the Wood Dude asks, why the blue tape? The blue tape was just to measure where the top was in the beginning, or where the start of the top was. But you weren't here for the beginning, Stephen, so you missed that bit. Don't be late next time. All right, Steve, you be late if you want. Never lost that. <laughs> yeah, it's too bossy. Don't watch it back later. Yeah. Oh, are you going to colour this at all or oh, anything, Brian? There may be colouring ahead. There could be colour. So there won't be singing ahead, ahead then. Hopefully. Or well, from you, Joe. Oh, no, you. He'll, he'll, he'll use it just, you know, even he got to wipe it off. Anthony Green is joining us. 
Go for it anyway, asking, Joe. He's asking, how fast is the lathe turning, Brian? The lathe currently is revolving at 1360 revolutions per minute. It's going like an express train. Ah. Oh, James. James Crawford's in. Hi, James, buddy. Good evening, James. Grandma Roo says, yes, Joe's Clarice Cliff. And she likes Lalique. And she's got a few pieces of that. And she loves Tiffany. Yeah. She's got a few pieces of Lalique. Oh, I made that too small, yeah. mate. Oh, that might have been if you don't like any more. Tell me. Yeah. What's the fortune? RPM Woodworks is in. Hey. What's that close? Here's your question. I've been Roy. Oh, a whole lot of measure on this evening. Yeah, it looks well, like you did it. do a drawing, so you got to do it to the drawings. Yep. If you was commissioned to do that by a drawing, you'd have to do it. All the measurements. It's okay. Got lots of room there yet, James. <laughs> totally wrong. <laughs> so in there and then back in there. That should be good. Richard Feelings just joined. Hi, Richard. Hey, Richard. How you doing, buddy? Right. Hello, Richard. How you doing, buddy? Well, I'll be in a bit more and back out and then back in again. Something like that. But we'll get rid of some of that in a minute. I'm going to get it in the chuck now. That is cutting really well, I have to say. Mm. Looks like it. Let me just uh, take these drive centers out. This drive center out. And we'll pop in a Robert Sorry Patriot Chuck. The drive centre, is that also known as a step centre? That's a step drive centre. Right. This okay. is a step li live yeah. centre because this one rotates and the other one doesn't. It just, it's fixed. So that one doesn't rotate, whereas Sorry. this one does. Yeah, that's the one so I Drive centre, live yeah. centre. But you're right, that's the, the type is a stab center. See, Don't ask me why they if. call it a stab center, because I have I've no idea. I've maintained that information. You've got to be impressed. It's over a year. I know. <laughs> Joe, you're doing well. You're doing well. Right, let's get this in the chuck. Are you sure you haven't got a book in front of you looking at it? I've not got anything in front of me, cheeky. Glenn's probably telling you. Oh, he's disappeared just... for a minute. Glenn never watches mine. It's fine. He's in. Not he I'm, I'm not he's, he's in. He's in. He's just come in the chat. Come for a vape. Oh, is he? All oh, right. Oh. Okay. Not at all upset. Doesn't matter. No. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, no. No. Next thing I want to do is put that back in straight because we're going to let put grooves in this. And this could be the dodgy bit. Oh. Ah, oh, dear. How much have I got left there? Should have 50 mil there now, so I can do a 5 mil one at the bottom here. So what I want to do is measure this just a little bit. Yeah, where is my ruler? Oh, there it is. Ruler with a pencil. Pencil. Robert Broadwood saying, did anyone else see the young lad on with Colwyn this afternoon? I missed it. Oh, you missed it as well? Yeah, so I was out, out today, so I missed it. He had a young it. lady last week, didn't he? He was, doing, he was teaching him. So. Right. Right, let's hope that's in the right place. Let's not hope it's in the right place. It is in the right place. There you are then. 
I need the button over here. Any particular depth, Brian? Or? Yeah, well, I'm trying to get it. They will be straight eventually, but I just want to get them started first. Hopefully. Okay. Um, Stephen Wood does says, if you like Art Deco designers, check out um, Charles Cato. I see that. Um, Just Anderson and Emmy, Emily Galley. Mm. Emily Galley. Okay. Richard Feeling is doing a bit of work, I think. He actually went to his shop this afternoon, first time since Christmas. Well, oh, that's not good. That's not good, is it? Point. No. <clears throat> no, me neither. Well, you know, I am forced to, be, to leave it for a little while, but other than that. Susan saying, wouldn't it be less wobbly if you left the life centre in? I could. There you go. That do, Susie. What I need now is a piece of paper underneath there, so as I can see. And Barry's saying he's lost his touch. A little I bit. Don't right. think so, Barry. I watched, I watched a video the other day of uh, Barry doing a bowl, and it was absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Top class. Yep. You haven't lost your touch at all, Barry. No. <coughs> I don't think I know. That's all in the fun you get out of doing it anyway. Yeah, that's it. Mm. Well. So I've heard. It jumps off a lathe, put another piece on, do it again. There you have it. Plenty more. Yeah. Way to go. Enjoy it. Just nice to see the chisel cut, regardless of what you're making anything. Richard right. Feeling's yeah. been retrieving some elm burr, burr elm. Very nice. Someone else. Mm. Nice one. Good man, Richard. I've never I'll had try any. Get these, I'll try to get these the kind of same space. And it's, it'll be I'm not hinting close. or anything, Richard. <laughs> you haven't got any burr elm at all? Uh, no. <laughs> William, no. No. Uh, Elm died off in these parts a long time ago. You might do a bit of swapping, you know, because yeah. you might be not have some you or something. Benjamin's in, but some you. He could be. He could swap these. In the bent. Okay, Roy. I think uh, Barry's talking hey, about So it just lies. takes a lot of that time. But Doug Miller wants to know, Brian, if you're going to dye alternate rings black and yellow. No. <laughs> <laughs> no is the answer to that. Hopefully. Stephen said he'd done three hours in the shop before he froze to death and came in for soup. Good man. <laughs> well, we only managed two hours, so he's yeah. better than us. Oh. So these are five mil, five mil spaces, and then three mil for the the car. Mm-hmm. Good on you, Richard. Cool. 
be pleased to know we're not going all the way to the top. Doesn't matter. We can sleep longer. True. Just don't drill down through the middle with a force in a bit, which that's is bigger than the next. rings. That's what I'm going to do next. Which is bigger than the rings. Yeah, I know. <coughs> that's why I'm being trying to be quite careful here. Mm. Yeah, the plan is to put a 40 mil first and a bit down through the middle, but we will be measuring before we actually do that. So, Ban Jamin says that the, uh, the, th the third ring from the right is about six thousandths of an inch off. <laughs> well Man's spotted. An eye, like a, eye like a drain rat, he? The only one that's a little short is this one. Yeah. It's a fraction out. But it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, but when you look at it as a whole, it's absolutely fine. So. It'll be grand. You've more patience than I have any. I would have just guessed all of those. Yeah, I would have gone <laughs> dot, 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 dot. Well, well, the last time I did something like this, I did guess. Uh, and I could guess, like, and just go for the next one, but I'm not going. Yeah, yeah well, that'd be just no, good. No. Would be because that one's a bit short too. Yeah, it is. A little bit. <laughs> so just well, he's asking them. why is it going dark when you cut? Cut. Why is what going dark? Inside the, the groove looks dark. All right. It does, doesn't it? As if he's put. Yeah. Uh... I think it's just the shadows. Oh, no. it? Shadow, just the yeah. shadows. There's lights. Camera trick then. He's got a little tiny brush stuck to the underside of his part and two with paint on as he cuts it off and paints it. <laughs> and just painting it at the same time, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the idea was that they should be all the same. Not bad. So we've got a straight tube up the middle. Now, can I measure that to see how we are? Old Drew is in. Good evening. Hey, Drew. I don't know Drew. My, uh, so what you're saying, Brian, is 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 the the depth of cut the same all the way up, or is it a straight? So the depth of cut goes more no, as you go this, up. This should be like this. The inside of the thing should come straight up. Okay, yeah, I'm with you now. Out, so this is the deepest cut, and that's yep. the shallowest Good. cut. Got you. So the, Probably. the idea is that mix is in. put a bit of paper yeah. up against it, it should, Good evening. it should look kind of straight. That's Not fine. too bad, actually. Yeah. Right, so that's that bit. So you need to get a measure down yeah. on the bottom one, is it? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, because that's a, well, you're probably if not going to go down that deep, are you? If I get it wrong, <laughs> if I get it wrong, It'll end up in the top comes off with the middle, it'll all come off. Yeah, but my issue is the calipers won't get in there. Well, then cut the cut the paper and slide it in till it fits. You've got to cut a groove in the paper, piece of paper. I know, yeah, I know, I know. And if it don't go in, cut it a bit more off till it does. Let me just see. Oh my goodness, Nick! What, Surely what, the what first cut is the deepest. What the? Oh. <laughs> what did I start off with? Well, Nick, Nick Cass has um, just joined us. Hi, Nick. No, he's already been in. That. That's at a low time, but. Um, oh, I did join. Yeah, he's in. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So he that's is. what it was. Happy. Um, in. Stephen, it's saying Brian, will yes. this paintbrush parting Fifty tool five. be available from your shop soon? Fifty-five. Yep. There you go. 55, and then that's into there, which is, oh, that's, that's tiny. It's good. It's good. Woodwind Paul's in. Good so evening, we're only Paul. five mile Paul. in. Sorry, Paul. 55, so that's 45. We should be good. So you're going to put a 40 mil force in a bit down for you? Or? Well, I think I'll change my mind and put a 38 mil down it. Okay. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Just to be on the saving side of it. <laughs> <laughs> Allow for a, one cleaning pass. The safe, on the safe side of ridiculous. Mm. 
Right. Uh, oh, Drew's got a question. He says, yeah. stupid question. No, no question stupid, stupid Drew. Question, when you talk about hot glue, is that yes. just an, a glue gun? And if so, any glue stick? Yeah. Yes. Hot glue. Yes, I think your so. Your choice of glue Physical. gun is your own, and the glue sticks are your choice. But yeah. I have a Ryobi um, one thing glue gun. This is mine. You like Ry Ryobi tools, don't I do, you? Yeah. You got this a whole set of them. This yeah. is what I've got. And you just stick the, the 18 volt battery in that, and it gets really, really hot. And it's trying not to get a, really, you're going to get one, Drew. Try not to get a craft one. Just try, try and get a, no. a decent one that really heats up. Because some of the craft uh, ones don't get hot so enough. You... It doesn't stick. Properly. Right, so the next one I've got. Can't remember now. Take that step, sir, step sender out of there. I've got a Bosch Off one. Off my Jacob's so shop. I bought one in Aldi's about Mine 10 years ago, and I'm still using it. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's green, is it? DeWalt, is it? Oh. Green and down Bosch. Bit. Bosch. And let's see, can we draw the whole through this without this? Oh, this might not work, mate. Have you got a force and a bit of extension for that or not? Nope. Terry. I'm just, it's only a short force and a bit. I don't know how far he wants That's to go. Right. Okay, because I'm only going again so far here. And then I'm going to come out and I'm going to put the 40 mil in to, up to down to here. And then put the 35 mil in the rest. Right. It's allowed to choke in a I don't need bit all this. I can take some of this away as well. Yeah. Right, let's try that then. Put the 40 mil bit in down to here because I want to have a 40 mil. And I'll come back to that 35 in a second. I want to have a 40 mil seat for the lid. And the width of this chuck up here. The width of this chuck here is just under 40 mil, or just under 38 mil, sorry. So we'll go in there. If I can get that tightened up. Ben Jammy says he's bought a, he bought a glue gun from Glue Guns Direct with 100 by extra That's long glue good. sticks. In the last two years, he's used he's, he's owned it. He's used three sticks. He thinks yeah. he'll have to buy some more soon. <laughs> he got 97 left. He's only got 97 left. Well, yeah, I have to say, glue sticks seem to last quite a while. And Stephen says, okay, time to throw another piece of my unsold woodwork on the fire and make some more oh, soup no. with a wink. Oh, well, at least you know it's keeping you warm, Stephen. <laughs> Don't turn them so thin next time they'll last longer. Yeah, sometimes it's thin as right. And they burn for longer too. And they burn for longer as well, yes. Yeah. Although I don't think any of Stephen's uh, stuff is for the fire. Not much of it, anyway, that's for sure. Uh, it's top class. Definitely not. It's all pretty good stuff as far as I can see. Where's my little depth gauge? I see what it is. That should be perfect. Let me just do a little bit more. Let's see what we find out if it falls off. Well, no, I don't think it will. Suddenly got very stiff. Let's just pull that back out again and empty it. Well, I'm Roy. Roy the boy bought the same force and bits I got from Screwfix. Good man. They're not bad, are they? Just getting a little bit choked up in there. I'm 
we'll withdraw that again. Check the depth again. Ooh, it's warmer now. Mm. It's definitely a bit wet. Letting it clog up too. Let's go a little bit further than this. And saying this bar has an Egyptian thing going on. Well, it's supposed to be Art Deco. Art Deco, yeah. yeah. Just wait to the end, Ben. Mm, that's really as far as I can go with it. Let's have a look now. Ooh, that's hot now. Let's use the airbrush or the airline to get rid of some of that. Did it come out your side there, did it? Not like that, but I don't think it did. No, I don't think it did. No, I didn't, no. No, I know it didn't. I'm only kidding. <laughs> it was only winding. Uh, no, in here. I really want to get down to there, which is fine. Have you got any to take off the top, or is that? Yeah, I'm going to, just where this, where it kind of comes in here and then rounds over, I'm, cut, I'm going to cut it off there. Okay, right. well, there's a bit more you can get out of it. So that's about that. Now, because Susie shouted at me earlier, like, I'm just going to put a cone center in there just for a month. <laughs> well, she might only said it might look better, might be easier. So, we'll just put a little cone center in there just to hold that just for a second. That'll do. It has a little wobble, hasn't it? It has got yeah. a little wobble, yeah. Mm. My wife's got I'm, just, I'm just going to cut that off there. Terry. What? It's a lovely little wobble. Uh -huh, <laughs> that's right. I've been staring at a little wobble for about 45, 48 years. <laughs> Still nice. Good on you. It's been non captive, cap non captive ring just in a second. There it goes. Hey. <laughs> I think Taylor's Mayfield do um, make bricks out of the shavings for log burners, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. In the chat, I need so to try and fix that. people doing that. Um, there's manual not machines that. and then powered machines, which are more expensive. I don't know if, I mean, if, you, if, you're making an, if you're making enough shavings, you know, commercially, it yeah. pays to get a machine, doesn't it? If you it use does, them, yeah. if you use them. Yeah. Well, log burners are in at the moment, aren't they? They're very popular, yeah. so. Yeah, especially with the price of oil. <laughs> oh, there is that. Although I've noticed our fuel's gone down over the last few days. In price. Diesel here is 170 per litre. One, yeah. 170. 170. Yeah. 170. Wow. yeah. And petrol, petrol is about, about 10 cents cheaper. It's not 142 like for petrol here. One yeah. Is here. I noticed today. And then about 166 for. Um, it's actually diesel. really good in the inside of that, you know. Good. The, the little fossil bits that I bought are, are actually very good. Just needs a little scrape just in the inside just to. I mean, how Tidy much does up. it cost for a set of fastener bits on average? Well, I've just looked. At, I've just looked at a set from uh, a set of sixteen, I think it is, from um, Planet. Right. And they're one hundred and six, one hundred and thirty-two pounds or something. That I've seen the price. Mm, right. So quite expensive. Yeah. Just drop that door, that's just a price. 
it depends on the quality, you know. You could buy a set in screw fix of a set of 12 for 30 or 40, or you could spend yeah. hundreds. I think I got a set from screw fix for 28 pounds. That. All right. <laughs> that was quite nice. a few. They're very good, actually. Roy paid 45 pounds for them. The amount, for the amount of it we actually, if you're just a wood turner, for the amount you actually use them, is it you worth your while spending a fortune on them? Probably not. There's other things that you probably could spend your money on. I'm just on using that this uh, freshly more. sharpened scraper just to finish off the bottom a little bit. And just run it up the sides just to make sure it's. There's no real toe marks in there. Uh, I'll do that with a visual inspection. You guys could be on that camera now. Thank That'll you. do. That's pretty smooth in there. A little bit of sanding will fix that. It's good. Now, I need to make a little step in here now. <coughs> or yeah. the lid. For my lid. Because that's okay. This is okay down here. And I've got a little crack up here and there. I'm just going to super glue that. I really should sand and seal that first, shouldn't I? Of course, I'm going to part that off there. Pass your note cut line. Yeah, I've got enough. I've got plenty of room to part it off, Terry. Mm -hmm. So what, what, what I'll do is I'll sand up this outside and then we'll give it a little bit of sanding sealer and then we'll... Just super glue that bottom ring. And that will make more sense to me. So you wanna go back on the old road? I will now. Why are you sanding this one? So we're just gonna use uh, start with one twenty grit. Where's Liana's in? Where's my strike? Just in Brian, you could buy the cheapest fastener set and save the extra for the SK one one four with a laughy oh, face. No. Yeah. No, he's not getting one. No. Let's keep on one four, yeah. That's not happening. Not today. I'm just nipping in next door because I think I've uh, forgotten to plug in my extractor. I'll be back in a second. Clean the filters today. Good so man. I think I've forgotten to put the cable back in. Which is exactly what happened. Right. There we go. <clears throat> so my extractor is, is uh, located in my wood store, which is through the wall here. Okay. So that's going now. That's much better. That's working. Yeah. Give that a little sand up. Shouldn't take very much. I can see the dust flying in. Yeah, you can good. Yeah, they've got little Always paper nice. bag filters over them. And Always they, nice they, they clog up really quick. Have you got the cloth bags over that again? The what? The cloth bag goes no, over the No, I haven't the, got that the paper cloth bag. One. I never got that ah. cloth bag. That's what you need. Well, you should go ring Rackwell Power and they'll send you. I did speak to Record Power at Harrogate about that. When they said, oh, did you not? <laughs> so they weren't very, weren't what you call very helpful. A little bit more sanding up here. There is a little more mark just in there. I'm a reef tree wants to know how many stands there are at Newark Woodwork show this March. Anybody know? I can't no remember idea, that. Man. All I know is the Lincoln the Lincolnshire Wood Turners Association is on stand eighty one. That's correct. So at least eighty one. Oh right, so there's a few. They are indeed. I should be on there sometime saying hello. Right, there you go. One twenty, that's fine. One eighty.
So I'm trying to leave that edge not sharp but defined because I intend to do a little bit of decoration on here, but I'm not, I'm not going now because it's got a wobble on it. I'll never be able to keep the you tool on that. You could put a thin cut down through and get rid of the wobble. Yeah, I think yeah, it's a little that. bit more than... Yeah. Go with your instinct. Nah, yeah. just I'll just go with it. Okay. Two forty grit. I'm only doing this because I want to get that. Uh, want to get that crack sealed up. Because you know, you, you know what uh, Jerry's like. Yes. Yep. It'll just keep cracking. Right we can blame William though. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. There you that's go. That William, up, you that's giving you cracked funny, wood. <laughs> <laughs> you can't win, can you? It's not, it's not William's fault. It's probably mine because uh, William did say to me, "You should wrap that in some uh, cling film." And, and no, oh. no, it's not. No, it's William's fault because but I, but he, I cut the tree, for you. <laughs> he, he cut the tree too short. That's <laughs> what it was. The tree was cut too short. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. I'm <laughs> <laughs> sure that works. I think Sandy Susan might have to go more brush as well. I've brought home all different types of cherry and prunus and all sorts of fruit yeah, trees. Same, and sealed it and sealed it and sealed it and cut it, deep pitted it, and it still bloody cracks. Yeah, terrible. Ah, yeah. yeah, terrible stuff. Doesn't matter what you do with it. Yeah, well, so I'll just use a little dish. No, it's nice if you get a three foot diameter cherry tree and you can quarter so it. Be nice. No, it still cracks, but it still works. A bit better. So what's this uh, then? Um, this is a cellular sanding sealer. Okay. Just to seal up the wood there because I want to add some CA glue to it. This is quite a nice piece of cherry. It might actually just stay natural on the outside. And we'll do something colors with a lid, I think. Getting it down into that little three mil groove is not the easiest thing in the world. Roy's the boy saying, Brian, I've got some cloth bags for the RP cam vac that he tried to fix for Barry's weird creations. Don't know if they'll fit yours. Are they big? I.e., it, it one. Do they fit two... over the whole barrel? Yes. That's the one there, Brian needs. There's there's uh, there's one set that fit over the, the little twin motors. The they're engines, they're quite small. They're only about, I don't know, six inches maybe across. And then you should have another one that fits over the whole barrel thing, which is probably about two feet across. Yeah. Because all the barrels are the same diameter. They're just deeper. That's correct. It fits over the barrel. Then you drop the motors into it and clamp it down. That's correct. Right. That should be enough of that sandy sealer, I think. Just give that a little minute to set up. And... I have to kind of spin it to get it out of the grooves. I've got the two foot six one. Oh, two six inch ones. Okay. I've already got them, but if they're no good to you, I'll have them, right? Because really, you should have two sets. You should have set sort of in the washing and getting dried out and the other set on the machine. But if you want to send me them, Roy, I'll pay for the postage and stuff. I'll be glad. Just let me know what you need. You're going to Yorkshire grit this? What do you think, Terry? God, we've got to put it with her again. What do you think, Terry? Yeah, you do. No man call me her Sorry. either, or I'll duff you. Her. Her. <laughs> her. 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 
Oh, only trouble with you. She'll just come back. I'll here. set roof onto you. Yeah, air gonna get that out of the grooves, Brian. I'm no, you're not. Air gun, just blow it out. It's actually starting to look quite nice, that. This is your thirty-second warning, people. Not in the, not in your washing machine. What? Does Barry have a washing machine of his own? Ah, uh, sure. She, she has to go to work sometime. <laughs> hey, man. You're up, Joe. Hands, I feel pity can be soft <laughs> as your face. <laughs> With light brown, Yorkshire gritty. Must have made her a day. Terry Bart is now swooning around his lounge. Good on you, Joe. And Glenn shouted, oh, no. Oh, he doesn't care now. He sold the damn thing. He doesn't <laughs> we do, care about we, the advertising. We've do, gone to do some cooking. Hi, Nigel Stephen. Foster's come in. Good evening, Nigel. Hi, Nigel. Nigel. There's two of these rings not the right size now. Yes, Nigel, you should have waited another two minutes. Yeah. You'd have missed the singing. Sucks to be you. Looks to be you. Kev of K9's in as well. Good evening, Kev. <laughs> Very hey, good. Kev. Hi, Kev. Give that a little bit more speed. Hope it doesn't fly up the lid. So do we. Yeah, it does, so it flies towards, towards the back, not the front. Well, if it flies, I'm out the way. Yeah, it'll be alright. There we go. Just turn it up, turn it down a little bit, and we'll do an in the grooves with a bit of tissue. If we can get it to go in, there we go. Just to clean them out. You didn't put that much on. No, I didn't, and I purposely did it that direction rather than up and down, mm. so as it wouldn't fill them up. Fill the grooves up. I used what little brain I have got. <laughs> Nigel Foster says he's sorry he hasn't been in the chats for a while, but he's had good reason. Well, well you well, don't have to come in if you can't make it, Nigel. It's not exactly, a Nigel. Yeah. But it's nice to see you, you, buddy. It's nice to see you in, and if you yep. can't make it any time, you can't make it. It's not a problem. That's correct. Yeah. You, can't, you can't possibly watch them all. It's, nope. a, it's nearly impossible, that many um, things on YouTube now. That's why I'm, I'm always amazed how many people come in and watch when there's such a big variety. I'm up against Cindy Drosner this evening too. She's on she? live now, I think. Yep. I think so. Mind you, she's more American than here, I think. Although we do have Cindy Drosner coming as a special guest here, one of my thing. The 360 Club, we do. We do. Yeah, but Steve has a comment. Oh, well, Steve's got her as a special guest earworm, and she's doing a demonstration on the 360 Club. 360, she has indeed. That's, is that in February? I uh, can't remember Soon. the date. I'd have to look it up, but I'm not going right, to do that. We'll just seal that a little bit. No, I want to put some, uh, what do you call it? Super glue in that, didn't I? A little bit of thin CA glue. Just a Poor old Nigel's there. been going through cancer tests and he's come oh, back. No. Good news. Oh, that's... But they are now looking at his liver damage. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, all four goes well for you, Nigel. Well, uh, we do. Knowing my luck, I've just super glued that to the jaws of the chuck. <laughs> well, <laughs> and what you could do then, Brian, is you could spray with acrylic paint the chuck and then stand it up on the end of the chuck and that would be it. Yeah, it would so look nice, wouldn't it? Deco. Yeah, peace. And ring up Sorvi and ask him to send you a new chuck. Because yours is now taken up. Being a pedestal. There we go. That should be fine. Boy, that super glue stinks. Oh. So now. Weird dude says he only tunes into your lives, Brian, because you pay well. Why do you think we earworm for him, Stephen? What's that? Cost me a fortune every week. Every week. Particularly that Terry fella, he really wants it. He's, he's extravagant. He just he oh, just he puts is, the yeah. one on the check and we add the notes, depending on how long we've been here. I 
trying to do some Cats design. Cats Fish Crafting has joined us. That's Eva. Good evening, Eva. Hi, Eva. Welcome along. It's a while since I've seen you yet, and Eva. Mm. Uh, she says you're a favourite horseman. I know. Oh. Why, why, why are you surprised with that, Daddy? Because there's not many others on YouTube that got horses. Not that many, no. Thank you, Thanks. Ben. Ben just said, compliment. Ben says, I do watch a lot of wood turning videos, but the live ones are my favourites, even if it is oh. only Terry and Brian. <laughs> yeah, thanks. thanks, Ben. I think. I'll take that as a compliment, <laughs> Benjamin. <laughs> thanks, Ben. I think. Oh, look, I didn't stick it to the jaws. That's good. Oh, so I'm removing that just for a minute. And I'm going to take this uh, rubber sorby chuck off. And then we're going to start making the lid. Finish with that. Uh, let's put that drive center back in there. That drive center back in there. Brian Stapley says he just bought the f a 50 millimeter tungsten carbide four snippet at 1899 from Amazon. Cuts superbly. Now he's intending to replace the full set he got from Axminster. Oh wow. Wow, Max Ministers weren't so good. I thought they there's. I thought theirs were good actually. Oh, oh, oh. Well, the tungsten card stuff. Well, the Axe Ministers. Oh. Yeah, well, obviously the. Max Ministers sell Amazon. easy with tools. Oh. Did not. I thought their forcing the bits would be good, but okay. Right. So what I'm going to do is make a turn on here so they can stick it back in this. Stick it back in here. So let's just check, make sure that was forty mil. So we need to go to 42 mil and creep up on it. You do. And so we'll get it round first. And that's a little bit high, so we'll just reduce that using the track thing. I'm just testing this track thing out for Robert Sorby. See how it goes. Okay. Make sure everything's nicely locked up. Step off to one people side. It's only a small bit, people, but you wouldn't want it flying people, off to hit your people, head. People are going to wonder now, Brian, so you'll have to explain that. Doesn't it speed up? I, I, I will at the end. I will. Tool rest adjustment collar, it's called. Track. So we'll just quickly get this down to round. Oops. Oh, it's so drawing beauty to see. Calls for a ball on the top of this. Does it? Right. <laughs> it does, yeah. A uh, nice round bowl. Uh, as round as I can make it, Terry. So we'll just uh, make a little tannin. And I need, uh, what size of tannin do I need? 50 mil. 40 mil tannin. 40 mil. For the SC2 chop this time. Mm Well, we will make a small tenant on this end. I don't know how close that is. Not even close. Right there somewhere. Not quite there. Doesn't matter how many times you have to try that, guys. Just 
Make sure you get it nice and round. Nice and the right size. So that's it. So now I can put the chuck on. Move that out of the way. Get rid of the snap centers again. Yeah. Barry's just saying, isn't it nice to have loads of chucks? Hmm, does. Yeah, Glenn's got one or two. He's not into double figures yet, is he? He's close. Um, oh, juggle it. Sure how many chucks he's got? Um, I'm sure he's close, mind. Oh, 11, I think. Oh, he is a double figure. Oh, is that not? Oh, William. What happened to William? He's gone, is he? Yeah, he fell out and he just beeped to come back in again. Right You're back, Sorry. William. Hello, William. Enjoy your tea. Did you get lost? Yeah. Here? Yeah, kids I'm messing around with the internet. Switched it oh, off. All right, okay. <laughs> Switched him yeah. off. There you go, he's back <laughs> in again. Kids are now so buried in the back tea. garden. Yeah. <laughs> right, so let's have a look at that. I thought you'd be finished again, I got back. Yeah, who, now, well, take, we, you know. just take my time, William. I'm in no hurry. Has Joe been right? talking so much? That's what it is, William. It's kept him uh, working. Uh, you're such a funny Let's man. Let's put that back up for a second. Bring that in now. And now, uh, I want to make a 40 mil on this end as well. Because this is going in, this is going into the uh, the body. So we'll bring that down there. So I'm going to make this 42, and we'll try and creep up on it, as they say. Richard said that I got two more Nova chucks, two companion chucks for Christmas, no more jaw changes. Very good. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Good chuck. Makes a difference. Not it a thing wrong with Nova bit. chucks. Just speeds it up a bit. I'm, I'm having a hard time thinking about finding a really bad chuck, to be honest, these days. It used to be that there was, all, there was only two or three good ones, but they're all reasonably good these days. I think so. Modern engineering, cutting practices. They do what they say it does on the tin, eh? Yep. So I'm just making that kind of cone shape there a little bit, which will allow me to. Get it on, and then we'll see if it. And if we spin it up and get it on, it should put a little bun line on. It does. In both the vase and that. If I do that, though, you can see that, that little bun line. Yep. So I just need to work my way down to that. And I don't want it to disappear. Quite yet. A little bit more. Can bring that out. So let's leave it out there. Can I get that one? No, nope, a little bit more. There. <coughs> That's better. Just creep up a little bit, a little bit more. There, I think it just needs to be squared up there. So, mm -hmm. It's always a way of it. 
It's always the way of it. Thanks just made it too loose now. So we'll just take a little bit more. Can we have the overhead cam, says Susie? Overhead again, yeah. sorry, Susie. We just went a millimetre too far there. Or half a mil too far. See what that does. Doesn't take much, does it? Nope. No. No. It won't go on, see? That's so. It's a gnat's whisker. It is just a tiny little bit. Try that. The stop switch keeps falling down the lathe bed. Dirt on the back of it, shavings, wipe them off. Oh, wrong tool. Still need to get that. It could be shavings in in the back of your switch, Brian. You stick to it, and it's lets it slide down. Then I don't think the magnet's that powerful, to be honest. No. On that on that one, anyway. I've seen some that are more powerful. It's nearly it's there, just, isn't it? Just a smidgen. Yeah, it's just, a bit of sand. Just get some stronger ones. That's just where I was the last time, and just and it just went too far then. 400 grit sand paper. <laughs> yeah, that's what's coming next. Yeah. Don't crack it. Yeah, pop. Ah, it's a good, there's a good solid bit of timber at the top here, guys. That's not going to crack. And that should stay on there. It's good. You finish the bottom now. So now I'm going to start off way. shaping this. You could finish the bottom of the vase, can you? On there first. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to put this back in, and I'm going to oh, put it back in, eh? finish oh. the bowl. Right, okay. And then, right. I'll, and then I'll figure it out. I thought he was just going to turn the bowl right out of that completely and part it off. No, it's going to it has to have a little stem on it with the bowl. Ah. So this end goes into the pot. So if I could, I'll do it. I'll do it like this, and you'll see. I put that in there. Get that on there. Squeeze that in there. So the plan is to push that up in there and then take this up and then the ball goes in this end and then I'll turn it around and hopefully I can hopefully it's this. So cool. the idea is take this away a bit. Yeah. Actually, Brian, that 40 millimetre going into the top of the pot, that'll fit in that chuck, won't it? To finish the ball off. It should do, yeah. So you could actually finish the pot now at the base. I could, but I'm just intent to part that off, Terry. We don't have to finish it. Oh, right, okay. I'm just going to part it off and sand it. But oh, well, that was the plan anyway. So this kind of has to come and be the same shape as this edge here. So what I actually want to do is bring that around there so as you can hardly see the joint. Sweeping that around into there. Eva's back. She wants to stop to put fire. All right. Keep warm. Like that. Can't really see that shoes can't I'll try and I'll try and help you with that. Zoom in a bit. We'll try that. Oh, that's better. Rover cam. So if I take that there. That kind of matches the curve as it goes round there. Mm -hmm. A little bit more round, I think. Just like, oh, just like that. And then up to here. 
And I want the centre of the ball to be about there, so let's come this way. So we'd like to go to overhead again so we can see the, the ball. ball. Overhead, oh, wrong one, that one. So, I want a, a sort of a thin neck there. Oh, I didn't do that, that's not how I drew it at all. It wasn't supposed to be a joint there at all. Anyway, we'll just put a little fillet in there. Just about there. Have a little fillet. I have to use a detail gauge for that. Just like that. And come off there. And that's where the ball's going to sit. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Now, let's try and make the ball. He was just said, uh, Brian, that she's now moved. She has a tiny farm now. Who has? Eva. Oh, lovely, Eva. How many acres have you got, Eva? See, that's a typical farmer, eh? Or a typical <laughs> person with horses. How many acres have you got? Yeah. yeah. She said a tiny farm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, mine's is quite tiny, too. And then she could turn around and say, only got 162 hectares. Sadly, not enough to have horses, she said. Ah, oh, that's a shame. All right. I have a feeling you have horses in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Mm. Right, this needs to be a bit smaller yet. I'm not very good at making spheres. Just look at the top of the sphere, don't look at the tool. I'm not looking at the tool, Gary. I'll finish that bit off, that looks about right, so I need to come from about here somewhere. Mm. Can't remember what size, it's supposed to be a one inch ball. That's a little bit bigger than a one inch ball, can't we? It is. Just a bit. It looks a little bit bigger, yeah. But the way you're going, it might become a inch ball. Well, that's the plan. Just bits at a time, isn't it? Bits at a time. What we could do is... Uh, oh, you have a sphere there. jig? <laughs> no. <laughs> All too, com all too complicated. So currently that is about 40 mil, so it needs to go down to a bit. Yeah. Good bit to go yet, guys. Let's just take a bit more of it. And get it down to one inch this way. And then we'll worry about getting it one inch the other way. I've been doing this by myself now, but I just kept going and doing what I was doing because it's really good practice to get round to, to uh, turning the, the cove or the, or the bead, whichever way you want to call it. It's a bead, that's so, yeah. A ball is just two beads, one. Yeah. Well, one bead, yeah. One going one around. way, one going the other. Yeah. I'll make that a little bit bigger so we've got a lot of room to play with. We'll make it sort of 35 or 30 mil to start with, just in case we make a mess and we have to... A little bit more... What's that there, huh? Now. That's it. That's got to be 30 mil as well. So it's just about right. I'm 
Terry did tell me the uh, calculation for this. Didn't you, Terry? I did. I can't remember what it is. I oh, they're going to have to top of my head. But it's 29 point something degrees each side. 29% each side from the middle line. Cut them straight off and curve it around. It works a treat. But I've forgot the feet. I've got it here written down somewhere. But I've had a sleep since then. Or two. I've slept since then, yeah. See if I've got the formula written down. Let's have a look. We have missed Susie's question. No, I can't see it here. Come on, guys, oh, pay attention. William. It's for William. It's for William. Since, it was a William. Yeah, since you've question. had lots of you, William's answer. Is any large spheres out of you, William? No, not currently, but I will have a try in the, in the near future. That's not looking bad, Brian. That's looking ball shaped. Yeah, that's looking yeah, nice. Kind of has come together nicely. Just don't make him too short. That's relatively ball shaped. And I'll just make that little neck up to it. Yep. Won't do any more than that. That should be fine. Just bring this out from there. Up to the ball. That's not kind of how I have it in the drawing, but oh, not much. A little design change here and there is good. Yeah, it's just a, yeah, it's just a reference of drawing it as well. Yeah. yeah, it's not a technical drawing. It's just a mad doodle. So if I take that down in there. Don't get too carried away with myself. I should be able to get that almost to where it's roundish. It needs to go round a bit more that way. Do you know what I find works sometimes now? If you put a parting tool with the side of the parting tool on top of the ball, yeah, no, and roll it that. around, it parts it off exactly in a ball shape. Yeah, I can't part it off because um, it's not. No, helpful. no, don't part it off. But you know, if you, but, if you just uh, follow so you that around just, now, just kind of round like it that, actually takes. Mean, it? Yeah, it takes the round around instead of you making it flat and squat. You know what I mean? Um, Susie, Susie wants to know. Me, Brian. Oh, go ahead, Joe. Go on. Go, oh, sorry, sorry, William. Um, no, go ahead, Joe. Will go you on. be painting the sphere black? I'll be painting the sphere something, but it won't be black. Oh. It's a surprise, Susie. That's 28 mil, guys. Am I going to, am I going to live with that? 28 mil? Leave it there. Oh, leave it at that. Sand it. It'll be 25. Got to sand it, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. If you get a catch on it, then you'll be wishing it was 28. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not quite right. So. It looks good. It looks right. I'll sand, I'll sand it. I'll probably, it's harsh. It'll sand yeah. away quite I'll, easily. I would sand it. Right, so the next thing you do is take that away. Just for now, slide all that rubbish out the way, slide that out the way, will that come off? Snap it off as you do it. Oh, no. easy now. And a straight tap with a yeah. rubber mallet. No, I'm going to take it off first, I'm going to part it off and then pull it out. I made that too tight now. Said that, didn't I? Oh dear, oh dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Just... Uh, give, give it a little tap while you're pushing against it on the other side so you can tap it off and then you can sand that so it fits properly. <laughs> you want to keep it on the lathe so you can sand it. It's Hold one side and tap the other. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, I'm looking for my rubber hammer. Yeah. And it appears to be missing. Michelle, where's my rubber hammer? <laughs> <laughs> Never start a job without a hammer. <laughs> It's instantly blame Michelle for the rubber hammer being missing. Dockyard, towards the dockyard spanner hammer. It is missing. <clears throat> Terry, what'd you do with my rubber hammer? Pass, music question. Maybe Matthews had it. Can't find it, it's going to have to be a mallet. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. oh, no. No, no, no. 
Yes, 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 yes. Down the wood. I haven't got rubber terry. It's going to have to be a wooden mall. But let's just try this. Ah, uh, uh, no. yeah. Uh, That's it. You got there it. You go. Yeah. Perfect. <sighs> nice. Nice. Sand it all up so that you oh, got you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. But I dropped that. So, so it fits a little bit looser than that. Well, it doesn't need to be tight now. Light sand. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing without, it. Sanding, without sanding off that tiny little fillet at the top where oh, it matches it. the wood. I'm doing it. Can you do that? Well, this tiny little, this tiny little yeah, fillet here. You don't wanna, yeah, you don't want to sand that off because that matches yeah, the timber exactly, doesn't it? Ever so lightly now. Yeah, just enough. Just so it fits perfectly. Just round that bottom up. And recheck it, of course. Well, I actually need to finish this bit. This is going to be interesting. This will be interesting now. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. <laughs> you in second slip there, William? Never you, Wally, guys. <laughs> Joseph Wicked Keeper on this one. I never feel to amaze myself. Ah, he's a delicate ah. touch. Yeah, a bit of chatter, be all right, mate. Make a nice design. Be helpful if you could see that. Yeah, well, we're not worried. He was saying you do know how to keep your audience on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> I have Cindy draws down in my head at the moment. Oh well. Yeah, no Terry. how brave I am. Yeah, I was just going to say, quit while you're ahead. <laughs> yeah, brave or stupid, one of the two. <laughs> it's a fine line, you know, there's a fine line. <laughs> ben Jamming says the blue tape is distracting him. This is OCD, isn't it? He can't cope. Stick a bit of red on as well, on the other side, then black. <laughs> I'm climbing off the workshop walls. Just leave one know. little bit on there. Leave one little bit. <laughs> Just to bug him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ben. <laughs> there you go, Ben. There you go, Ben. Nice. The, glue, the glue's not upsetting you that's stuck to the tool rest, is it? Oh, wait a minute. I'll give it a quick rub of some paper there. There we go. <laughs> it's fine now, Ben. Kevin's, Kevin's saying, yay, Morris is in. He is, he is. And it's Maurice. Very brave. Maurice. Mousy, mousy. Right, come on in. Back to the overhead. If you're doing the ball, we want to see the shape. <gasps> Let's see your artistic eye. You're so demanding, now. Gary. I'm not finished with artistic. this ball yet. I've got something else oh. to do to this ball. All right. Going to drill those in there or something? No. Cut it in wedges. Make it like a Terry's chocolate orange with four bits missing. <laughs> four bits. I don't know why I did that actually, because I'm going to have to do something else now. Um, if you're texturing that, that then it's it's a bit. To... <laughs> I've been a bit stupid there. Put that on. Yep. Hold that. Don't squeeze it too much. Now. Mm. Burn it, says Eva. Roy says texture in. He's going to part it off. One line or three? Three, I think. You think? Got to be in it. Can't be two. It's going to match his vase, isn't it? 
Robert Bortworth wants to know what the story was with Morris. Morris? Morris? Morris is the mouse. Morris, Morris. is an English mouse. This is Maurice. Maurice is a Canadian, French Canadian mouse. And Lewis of Klondike Crafton has. But there's a debate on whether this is Morris or Maurice. There's no debate. <laughs> this, is, this is Maurice. And Lewis is the imposter. Ah, right. <laughs> Here we go. That's that. Here we go. Now you can sand it. Now I can sand it, is right. Ah, uh, one eighty grit. And it'll look round anyway. Now you put three lines in it, so it does look round. Yep. One eighty. Now, next thing I need to do then that'll, that'll be that'll be sanded enough for now. That's a good shape now. So what we'll do is we'll switch off that extractor because it's definitely. Even though it's in a different room, um, what do I need now, Jockey? Um, Brian's that. not yeah. used anything to uh, to burn it. Burn it, other than a parting tool. To it's just it, a, not, the way the light is; it's casting a shadow. Yeah, it it's looks just dark. Doesn't shadow. It? It's, just, it's not burnt. Take that off. Put that back on. Put the bottom back on. Take your time. Take my time. Okay. And to try and find where it was, where it was actually sent. Huh? Do you want to center it up with the scent with the center as well? Yeah, I can kind of see where the teeth the mark, teeth marks were. So just grab mm -hmm. it with that. Just so it don't wobbly. So so it cone big enough? Not quite. Right. But I do have one that is big enough, I think. Try it's this a bit coat. easier for you. Too big. Too big. Damn scale. Where is the... Uh, this one? Is this any bigger? Yeah, it's the same size as that one, so we'll just use this one. Use the one that came with the lathe, that's bigger. It's not. It's a 60 oh. degrees, just the same as that one, Terry. That'll do. That'll be okay. So, loosen okay. the chuck off again. Squeeze it up a little bit. Mm, too much loosening there. And then tighten that up. That should be square now. He says, hopefully. I'll spin that up a little bit from the speed down. Not that far. That looks not too Perfect. bad. No wobble. Take that away. Tiny little wobble. Tiny little wobble. Right. Now, if I haven't sanded this too much, it should still, still go in that side. Other end. <laughs> yep. Uh, it comes out with a knob, so that's good. But what I'm going to do there is just tape that a little bit just to be on the safe side. So just take a bit of tape over there. Again, from the Mike, Mike Walt School of Taping. Poor Michael never lived that town, will he? He won't, nope. wait. No, no, There's no. even a book written by it now. Everything you need to know about masking tape, it is called. And you open it up and there's nothing written on the pages. That's right. It's blank. Blank, yeah. Now, I have to pop that off now. Gently. Oh, lost my little washer. There it is. Yeah, very. Very, very. Not much left holding it there. Actually, it might but be a good idea to do. saw that off. What I'm going yeah, to do, I was just going to say yeah. that as well, yeah. <laughs> saw it off a bit further off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll just saw it off at a little bit of an angle. 
Susie has a question there. She says, how come Mike has not been doing lives recently? Uh, he's, he, he, Mike it's changed jobs. Jobs, yeah. And he's, he's a bus driver, so he's been busy learning the new routes, etc. Um, and I think it'll not be long till he is back on the go again. So I'm just going to use a little bit of 80 grit there. And I'll go 120, that should be plenty. 120, just to try and finish this round off here. A little bit faster than that might be helpful. I'll just without taking too much off it. Try and get it nice. A little bit more. Whoops. There we go. Put you on that camera again just for a second. That looks quite nice, that blue lid. <laughs> blue lid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was, uh, that was 120. Do a little bit 180 on that. Doesn't really matter because it's getting stained in a minute. And then a little bit of... Just go straight to 400 because it's a nice soft piece of wood and it'll, it'll cope okay. There's no tool marks there to be had anyway. I just want to get right into that little fillet there. There we go. That should be enough. It's not very strong, that, I have to say. Well, well it's not a very tight fit. You could have, made it, could have made it out of ebony or something. Well, I've got a big piece of ebony next door, but it's, it's a piece about this size. Yeah, and I don't want to cut it. To <laughs> You're going to have to cut it at some stage. I know, I'm afraid to cut it, but <laughs> in, case the, in case you make the proverbial balls of it, you know. No, you Raymond Wise is in. That's a new um, name. Hey, Raymond. Hi, Raymond. From Edinburgh. Ah, Edinburgh. From, Edinburgh. From, from, my, from the town of my formative years. Edinburgh of the Burg. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of sandpaper to the inside edge there. Sand that up because I would now want that to be quite loose, and I really need to get rid of that bun line that's in there. Mm -hmm. Try that now. Perfect. Yes. Oh, Perfect face. There we go. Yeah. Oh, just it'll, it'll fit when it's standing up. That's be right. Right. That's fine. That's all you need. Next thing. Next thing. What colour will we go make this? Who wants to choose? Well, Susie wanted black, but... Yeah. No, no black. Has to be a bright colour. Oh, it should be red. It should be red. Has, has, has to, to be, be ruby, red, red, flame, orange. Red. Flame. Flame, Ruby and honey. I'm ruby not doing two. <laughs> no, I, I would do it flame because it would go with that colour of the cherry look. Look, I've got think. purple, blue. But you can see if it'll go, get a scrap piece of wood and spray it on a scrap piece of wood, Brian, and hold it up to the vase. Plum, like, yellow, pink. And then if you don't like that, get another scrap piece and hold that one. Purple. <laughs> Green, purple says Anthony. Dark, pl oh, plum or dark blue. Blue. Someone, uh, someone said don't say plum. Yeah. See, there is Orange. green tinges in the cherry as well, so. There That's is green tinges. I like that. You like I like red? that. See, I, I like, like things that contrast completely and stand out. Yeah. That's good. Uh, green, do you reckon? Somebody said green. Try the, try the green on a piece of paper. On the other end of it, uh, yeah. Forest, it green or, forest green or pear green? Pear green's probably pear, a bit Pear green. green. Pear, pear green. green yeah. You, yeah. Try that on the other end and hold that up. Doing it. Doing it. Give me just a minute. This looks orange. It's not. Well, it's maybe got a wee bit. Of... It looks it's got green here. I prefer the first one. It's got a wee bit of red on it. Hold on, I'll try a different piece of wood. I'll try the other oh, green. Bright orange. I'll do Purple. the two greens. Just, just give me a second. I'll do the two, I'll do the two greens. Grandma Root says orange or red. Yep. Mm. I agree. So, 
Susie says, no, not fair green. <laughs> no. The greens are not, I don't like the greens. They're not that good, are they? I must admit. You could mix the two together, you might get a decent colour. No. Forest green. Well. Fair green. No, no. no. I think you have Either. to go back to the original red. Same. Yeah. Red. As I suspected. Callum's is not green either. So we're all in agreement there. Oh, we're going with flame. Same. And we'll just give it a little bit of a... Can't see. <laughs> Susie oh. says, I think oh, black would fit the best. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what yeah, we'll do, Susie. Did. We'll That's do it red time. first. And if we don't like it, put black on. If we don't like it, we can put black over top of it. How about that? Would that suit you? Yeah. It's a good compromise. Gentleman Woodturner says black as well. Who said There's that? two for black. Mark, Mark. Mark, Mark okay. Gentleman yeah. Woodturner. Um, see, here's my thinking on, on black. Uh, everybody does Everybody does black. Every, you know finial why. In the, every finial in the world is black. You know why? Yeah, I do know why. Because it suits. It looks nice. Yeah, I know. Looks nice. I know. But well, Brian yeah. likes to be different. I like to be different. And so you should. That's why I said red. I like to be different. And I'll show you one of these a dead earlier. But you said you haven't practiced. I haven't practiced. I did it months ago. I didn't practice today. Ah. So we're just going to leave that. I understand the concept of black and why people use black. It's contrast, basically. It's contrast, is right. And if I use that red, it'll be different to everybody else's. It certainly will. Do I want to be What you should have done, really, though, is you should have then got a very, 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 very fine <laughs> paintbrush and painted all those grooves red. Hi, right there. Yeah, so, my theory. so so I did a little I did a little knob before with red on it like that, see? Yeah. It doesn't fit no. this one, but never mind. And that's polished. But this one's not polished, so yeah, yeah. not yet anyway. Oh. Brian with a Y is asking what are the paints, Brian? Are they intrinsic? The, these are intrinsic colours by Hampshire Sheen. Oh, better do the inside as well, eh? That's a bit better. neglectful of me. Mind you, I need to finish that a little bit better, but it'll do okay. It'll do okay for the purposes of this live session on YouTube. So, I'm just going to stick that in there now. Well, make sure it's dry, no, stain no. the inside out. No, I'm not, because I have to part this off yet. So, I'll part this off now. Give that chance to dry out. And that'll give that a little bit of a time to dry out. And the place where I had my no-cut line, it's right down here. You can see it. You can see it. Right down in here. And I'm going to undercut that a little bit. Take two cuts. And just work my way in gently. With a little undercut. Until I get to almost all the way through hopefully before it starts to wobble and then I'll sort off the rest now put your fingers inside and grab it out and cut it off not a chance <laughs> not a chance <laughs> not a chance and I'll tell you why, because if you part them off direct straight through, there's a very good chance you pull out the fibres and metal and you'll end up with a hole. If you just cut it off there, you've got a tiny little nub left that you can sand off. It's much easier to sand off a nub than it is to fill a hole. A nub. And that's why I do it like that. I used to part it off all the way through. Particularly on softer woods, you'll end up pulling the yeah. 
Yeah, you will. Well, the drain out. Fiber, right. Because okay. your pattern tools, your pattern, what am I doing with that? Is that a one? People just like to see your crash bang wallop though, Brian. Yeah, that's yeah, what they I do. do. Not today, <laughs> boys, not today. Unless you part it off with a skew chisel. Nice and pointy. Well, you could do that too. I could have done that, Terry. You could have. But it was kind of deep and awkward, so. Sanding. One last little bit of sanding. And if you've got time, what time is it? Quarter to nine? It's Six. just ten to. It's ten to nil. Mm. Plenty of time. A little bit more. I'm not sleeping well anyway, so I probably won't go to bed till five. So yeah, Terry Plenty doesn't sleep time. anyway, so he doesn't care. He's not going. To, he's not going to bed anytime soon. I try and sleep all day. When you do, I, I, all I do day, have, all night, Mary. I do have a little time on an afternoon, but uh, <laughs> my, my legs, my legs, my left leg's been hurting so much today. I don't mm. know what's wrong with it. Oh dear! Uh, you rest bed. up, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Michelle was frozen at work today. Was she? Oh, heck. That's no they're not afford heating in the shop. No, they don't have heating in the shop, Terry. It's an amber oh. temperature shop. But they do have lots of fridge units, so it produces a bit of heat. Mm. Um, mm. But the issue was that the the, uh, the front door of the shop opens onto the prevailing wind. And every time right. a customer comes in, they leave the door open. Yeah. Like Jabby. Think. Jabby's going to bed. All right. Night. Jabby. Yeah, see you later. Cheers, Jabby. Bye, Yabby. Good man. Thanks for coming in, buddy. Talk to you later. Right. There we go. Bottom sand. We can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. Ben suggests get yourself a heated vest, Michelle. Brian will buy you one. A heated? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> she had her thermals on today. And Brian with a Y came. was saying, when you part off metal, the parting tool is ground mm. with an angle to it cut is. the part of leaving a nub on the waist. I often wondered if it was worth trying on wood. Yep. Um, Try it. So because it tends to break out as you get to, as you get running right close. It does. It, yeah. And particularly on softer it, woods, it does. Yeah. It's a bit of a tragedy, to be honest. Because it can, if you're trying to get a piece that's kind of perfect, um, it makes a bit of a mockery of the whole thing. When you have a hole in the bottom. Right, where's that? What have I done with the lid? Worries. I've lost the lid. Put it down on the bench. Which bench? Behind you. No, I didn't. I, I, you on the side. Over to your left. Oh, there it is. Yeah. I see it. It's on the wooden board. There it is. This will get polished. There we go. Super duper. Go to that camera. There you go. There you go. I like that. There's the drive. Right That's very nice good. Camera. So it's yeah. kind of, it's to scale of the drawing almost. It's close. Yeah, it's almost. close. Uh, yeah, I didn't really want well. the ball above the you see that the ball actually is supposed yeah. to be sitting on the lid, but yeah. it didn't curve this well. up far enough. So, anyway, I think it'll be. You got. I mean, that's not bad from a drawing that uh, you did. You know. Well, it's not bad from something I sat think down it's this lovely. afternoon. Drew. And there's good. there's another one. I did, I did that one a good few months ago now. But I did this, um, and it, the proportions nice. are wrong on that. Because mm. this is nice this is job. too big compared to that. This is, yeah. This is perfect as as per the. Two thirds, one third. Yeah. Really pretty, very nice, six. lovely. Very nice. Very Indeed. nice. There we go. Now, I've got one, one more thing for you guys. If any of you guys are interested in my laser cabinet, I said I would show you it last week and I never showed you it. So I've been upgrading my laser cabinet. 
and I'll show you if you want. That so is absolutely laser. beautiful. A North Brilliant two, job. And a North 2 laser master. Lots of great laser comments pro. coming in. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's, have let's have a look at this camera here. So this is my laser cabinet. It's a standard kitchen unit, basically. With the shelf in the middle. I'll go over to this side. The O2 Laser Master 2 Pro is in here. It has a fan in the back wall which extracts the smoke and stuff out to, to the outside. There's a light in the inside as well. Uh, it has a, a raisin lower platform which is worked on a drill. So if I put a bowl in there, I can easily. Uh, I've got a bowl to hand. Can adjust it? Down. Oh, yeah. Michael McEwen's in it, oh, Michael. So there's a little oh, bowl there. If I, wanted to, if I wanted to laser the bottom of that bowl, just push the laser over there, set the little depth gauge thing, and just screw that on up. So it just about touches the laser. Just there. That's it. And that's that set for depth, or for focal length. And then you can laser away at that. The platform that you re you're uh, raising up does that come yeah. with the um, no. engraver? No, nope. that's a, like a scientific um, um, scissor lift they call it, and they use them in laboratories and stuff. Okay. They come with a little knob on them, and I just took the knob off and stuck a drill on it. So what do you do? Get that off Amazon? I did. Yep. Okay. And this is my patented uh, sandpaper <laughs> disc holder. So I make that's how I make my sandpaper discs. That comes out of there. And you just put your sandpaper in, line it up on the on the laser, and leave it to cut your sand discs. Excellent. That's a treat. Perfect. So the only thing I have to get now is the air assist nozzle and the little pump. So, so you put a little pump on here on the nozzle on the lens itself which actually blows air over the cutting surface ouch thank you there we well, the cat's in and has got a question there would that go. raising platform have enough push to raise a router no no it's not that strong i know what you're thinking about if you want to use something to raise a router i would suggest a card jack a scissor jack with a with a welded plate on the bottom and the top, and you just wind it up. That would have plenty of oomph if you like. It'd be strong enough, yeah. Yeah. There you go. So that's us done, guys. Well done, well mate. Excellent job. That's Let me great job. Yeah. Just for a second, and I'll give Eva's people one to last go. Look. Good night, Eva. Bye, Eva. There you go. There you go, guys. One last look at the little uh, pot. Yeah. If you want to call it, just has a little. You could stick a few rings or something in there. Art Deco pot, Brian. And that's a little Art Deco pot. There you go. That'll be lovely once it's shined up. The... It will. Not... Yeah, once the top and stuff's shined up, yeah. But I'll have to wait till it dries now because it's not quite dry there. Mm. So Spice thank you very much, Terry, nice. for coming in and helping me out as usual. You're welcome, Brian. Always a pleasure, mate. You know that. And William. Thank you, William. Not a bother, not uh, a bother. Thanks, Joe, as well. It's, uh, appreciate you You're coming in, Joe, and uh, entertaining the troops with your singing. No, <laughs> not help us all. <laughs> and thanks to everybody in the chat who's still here. Um, if you if you wouldn't mind, once the video goes live on YouTube, nip in and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about the uh, video. Good or bad, doesn't matter. And if you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down on your way out, I'd appreciate that too. I don't mind. But if you give it a thumbs down, Tell me why. And I'll try and do something about that for you. So, like block you from the channel. So it's good night from all these three. <laughs> good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Good night, Thanks everyone. for coming in. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. See you all later. See you guys. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye for bye. now. <laughs>